Дорогие коллеги, мы рады приветствовать вас на восьмом форуме композиции. We have Sergei Lulin with us, Deputy Minister of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation. Sergei, welcome. Andrei Shpilenko, Director of Association for the Development of Clusters and Technology Parks of Russia. Albert Karimov, Deputy Chairman of the Government of the Republic of Tatarstan. Chavdeev, Mamid, Chairman of the Board of Directors. Head of the Chair of the Chemical Technology of Moscow State University. Pavel Akimov, Acting Chancellor, National Research Moscow State University of Civil Engineering. Natalia Puchinok, Chancellor, Russian Government of Social University. Vladimir Nelyuk, Director of Engineering Center, Russian Composites, Bauman Moscow State Technical University. Alexey Borovkov. Deputy Principal for Prospective Projects, Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, and John Davidson, Technical Director, Sidegen. Distinguished colleagues, in 2018, Tatarstan Republic, Moscow region and Saratov region and, old, and the company Composites Without Borders signed an agreement on establishing of a cluster Composites Without Borders by the decree of the Minister of industry and trade, the cluster was included in the list of clusters of Russia. Key target of this cluster is contributing the growth of composite market and implementation of export potential formation and development of inter-regional technical cooperation during the whole life cycle of composite products in Russia. Currently, the cluster attracted financial support by the participants of cluster Providing technological and financial support is very important. It supports companies of cluster on promoting their products both in Russia and abroad. And of course, the regulatory documents correction is also within our scope of works. Now we implement large-scale projects in sphere of composites, scientific center composite valley. We should not take talk about breakthrough technologies without training of personnel. No technology will function before we train the high-skilled personnel, and this is one of the subjects of our today's discussion. We will talk about tools of development, about centers of composi composites, engineering educational centers, symbiosis of science, startups and education. We will talk about that we need composite database. I would like to ask my first question to Sergei. Lulin, Deputy Minister of Education and Science of the Russian Federation, the Ministry develops different measures of support for development of science, providing different tools to provide transfer from process to technology. Since 2011, there is a tool when the higher educational institutions may establish small enterprises. Different universities have different approach to that. Nevertheless, it's being implemented. New mechanisms of complex projects. We know that the these programs, these measures are aimed at composite promotion. What are the results and what are the steps taken by the ministry at the moment? What are the strategies of development in science in the sphere of composites? And what development the Russian companies will have? Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm happy to discuss the issues of technological development of the country of this, on this platform within the national project science. One of the key indicators are share of innovating products manufactured using results of intellectual activities and share of companies which apply these innovations. And globally, if we take see the priorities which exist, new materials, they have one of the first Priorities among these areas are electronics and 
communities, consumer of innovators for priorities in general. Our priorities are stipulated in strategy of technical and scientific development. And one of the key may ways to implement the strategy is scientific and technological program. The practice of this program should include all the stages of innovative cycle, new fundamental knowledge, their application, their introduction, development of technologies and final product implementation, which will be delivered to the consumer. This is how, to my point of view, the trend which exists in all over the world, when a large investment by the government to the sector of R&D should be approved by the community, by the society, are reflecting this, reflected in these national programs. Of course, we are talking that within the implementation of this complex of technological programs, we have to find and determine and apply those fundamental basics and foundations without which new technologies implementation is impossible to apply them for these technologies and ready technologies should be suggested for the use of business and the result of this program should become the approved results approved by the society the best result of the program is when the end product appears on the shelves of a store and the consumer of this product will say Wow, that's great. Now we can see why we need science. That's the most optimistic scenario. Within the program, we're trying to build the bridge between the science and the end user. Currently, the scientific community addressed four proposals to the government of the Russian Federation. One of these four sent already addressed project submitted products, including uh, reflect all the seven priorities which are stipulated in the strategy. The first project is called New Materials, New Materials and Technologies of Construction Production. This is the name of the document. I would like to note that another three other three programs are the petrochemical cluster on provision of high-tech chemical products production for different industries. Food for children, protein components, dry milk products for feeding children up to six months. Oh, the last product, uh, the last project is also related with new technologies. It was also approved at the meeting of the Council of the President of Russia and. Minister Golikova signed a decree on start of this program. We started one of these projects. Three other projects are also in progress, and I'm pleased to say that we really hope that the program new materials will meet all our expectations. Of course, it's impossible without improving the legislation in 2019, the decree number 162 on implementation of these programs were signed and we made the further step. Uh, there was a governmental decree number 1439 providing for the grants and subsidies from the federal budget to implementation of such programs. The programs which are under review at the government are about the budget is about 50 billion rubles the majority of major part of them about 35 billion of rubles will be provided to the company it's extra budgetary resources from the point of view of implementation of this program we shall know that the ministry of higher education and science will finance the fundamental part of this project and the final results are responsibility some other companies which are different from the ministry and of course i must say that other authorities ministry of industry and trade roscosmos and rosatom corporations declared their desire to take part in this program to become that 
link. Technological and scientific programs aimed at development of activities and formation of the full cycle of production from idea to the product and we, they will contribute to innovation implementation. I hope that the number of our partners will grow. We annually have meetings on initiation of new product, projects in agriculture, in healthcare, and other spheres. I would be happy if the new materials project will be not only successfully implemented and we will see the results which Rosatom will use in their everyday activities, but also we will see the solutions developed under this program. The solutions will contribute to development of the industry in the country where they will become an impetus, a driver of production for fiberglass and mineral fiber, new carbon fibers, etc. Because natural fiber require, is a very labor and time intensive production. We will need to find the new links, the new binders. It will be efficient for development of chemical industry in the country, which is highly necessary for import substitution project solutions. These are our expectations related to this problem. I would like to thank the participants who actively took part in development of this program. Viktor Avdeev, thank you very much. Moscow State University team, large team, not only Moscow State University, of course, but different companies, Rosatom, because its activities was very active in this sphere, which is very important, R&D sector. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish everyone the best of success. I congratulate the winners of the contest who were awarded at the previous stage of our event. I wish you health and the best of success in your work. Thank you very much, Sergei Vladimirovich. It's a pleasure that the ministry believes that fundamental research is a basis for further discoveries and development and being a specialist in sphere of polymer, I congratulate you because it's 100th anniversary of polymer science. Yes, thank you very much. Congratulations. Andrei. In 2017, Humatex initiated interregional cluster composites without borders, where five regions will be in 2020. Tatarstan, Moscow region, Saratov region, Ulyanovsk region and Tula region. What are the tools of the cluster? How can you help the companies and not only those companies which are members of the cluster? Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Thank you very much for inviting me to this wonderful forum. I will start not with the tools, but a little bit with the and thesis, which is not very good for everyone. Our topic is science and education startups. We have two different camps, business and universities, and there is a huge gap between them. On the one hand, we invest a lot. Ministry of Education is financing startups, research and development, and business does not accept that because very often everything that's happening there is not interesting for business. That is why let us talk together why the cluster composites without borders is very demanded and it became a bridge including for science, education and those startups which are implemented now, they survive, they do not die, they become a member of the chain of the large companies. I have a presentation, but first of all, I would like to talk without any presentation. I can see that uh, here there are um, our colleagues from St. Petersburg who spend all their life for engineering and they are real experts. Tatarstan, which is a leader of innovative ideas, nevertheless, you said industrial clusters. I want to say, dear colleagues, it's not what Porter said. Ministry of Industry and Trade understands that like territorial 
industrial production complexes which existed during the Soviet times. Probably you remember after the collapse of the Soviet Union, unfortunately, many industrial ties were destroyed and industrial clusters become had only one task to take the pen to write a description of the chain, production chain, and to find the investment niches between them. What composite scene without borders demonstrated? When we described these chains, yes, we realized we produce everything like launch vehicles, etc., made of composites. Preprex are something that we purchase abroad, and other components which are key components are also purchased abroad. This is the approach pre implemented by Rosatom in person of Umatex company allowed them to overcome these obstacles and to see investment niches in every single element. And it was an answer for the beginning startups how to approach the science and education. I'm talking about that because for the half of my life I was on the side of science. I was a director of Technopark, I was a chancellor, and I, my mind always exploded when I was thinking why the government spends so much m money to support universities, but all, the majority of startups cannot survive because there was not relation between the business demands and our universities activities. I'm not talking about something prohibited. My task is to sh demonstrate by the example of Composites Without Borders that there is an answer. Dear colleagues, I will try. Dear friends, please note that you probably see this slide. Nothing extraordinary. Umatex, in person of the managing company Compos Composites Without Borders, just took a pen and tried to write down a description by the example of a number of constituent entities of the Russian Federation. There is, please note, there is a group of companies producing end products and they provide all the information which companies are on which stage. It seems easy, but what which approach gives us? Why do business need this approach? Business and science. And this is a mirror reflection of the first picture when analytics by Umatex and cluster demonstrated that in each sphere there is a problem. For example, fabrics and preprex are purchased from France and the US. Fiberglass also purchased abroad. This is the answer to business, to universities, where to go, which startups do we need? And this is inside the information. Please note that in each step, Umatex gives an answer. Who is a consumer of these products? What are the volumes required? And I would expand on this slide, dear friends. I emphasize that I insist we know the investment niche. Just to come to invest and to build a plant, it's the most stupid thing possible. Here we need a linkage with the scientific and R&D centers. And me, as a potential investor, should apply to the R&D center, laboratory, and say, guys, give me such a technology which would be competitive in relation with the existing ones. Two, I have to pass through all the circles of hell to learn about the technology. Is it patented? Is it not patented? Is it prospective? Is it promising? Is it not promising? And only after working with education and science, I have to make a decision if I invest or not. What the government does, how does it assist and why Umatex have chosen this way. Today, the Russian Federation has only one mechanism which works on one window principle. When this chain is described, the government 
gives legal status to each participant, participant of an industrial cluster, and each company which is a member of such a cluster. And you can see it's registered and it's operating, has an opportunity to get subsidiaries to compensate for the costs, including R&D, new technologies, production. Everything could be subsidized, everything necessary to start the new production. What does it mean? We know that, that, for example, the plan for producing pan precursor preprex requires a lot. There are two mechanisms. A, you need to find this investment niche, what Umatex does. B, I insist we should come to you, to engineering center, to the university, and ask you a question. Guys, could you invent something? We invent something first, and then we are looking for application sphere. No, I need to come and say, I need this, this, and that. And the government, if I'm confident that you are competent, me as, as an investor will have the compensation for my costs, everything that I pay you for the R&D, etc. And I would like to tell you that this mechanism is already launched. The decree number 41, which provided for the support mechanism, is already launched. I see our colleagues from Tatarstan. They could be proud because they are one of the pioneers to realize which mechanism is important, how analysis of investment niches is important. And today I met with my colleagues from Moscow Free Economic Zone, and I gave an example of Tatarstan, how the special economic zone should work together with Umatex. They analyze niches and potential investment projects are implemented on their territory. I really hope that this forum will become a, a bridge and we will give a signal to the universities stop doing what you do and do something that business needs that will be demanded that will be included in production chains and also i would like to say to tatarstan dear colleagues from tatarstan please do not stop you are pilots you're pioneers we will learn every all the best practices from you and we will multiply it i can talk a lot i try to be as short as possible and it's very interesting for me to learn the opinion of the universities. Probably the chancellor or principals will say that we don't need that at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. But universities, they really want to do what is needed. And the projects that were mentioned are aimed at the creation of products and technologies, and they should be backed by the businesses. So you dwelled a bridge into uh, the Tatarstan Republic. And my question goes uh, to Albert Karimov. The Republic of Tatarstan was one of the first uh, uh, subjects of uh, Russia that prioritized composite manufacturing in Yilabuga, for instance, you have a, a couple of activities and you participated uh, in the opening and the creation of uh, the engineering uh, center in Kalu. And uh, initiative and leadership on the regional level is important. Uh, you support a lot of uh, investment projects and you create great uh, environment uh, for investors, not only uh, local, but international as well. Could you please share your experience? Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I salute uh, all the participants. Thank you for allowing me to share Tatarstan experience. Our approach is based on the fact that we try to unite the comprehensive approach to oil and gas with a systematic approach of Gamatex company. And Andre mentioned it before. We analyze, they analyze investment niches and uh, took a comprehensive uh, approach by creating 
composites without borders uh, cluster. So Republican approach uh, and uh, cluster-based uh, uh, approach bring very positive results. And I hope my colleagues agree with me. Systematic approach material-wise started back in 1999. Uh, this is when we started targeted approach in oil and gas complex. And today we are implementing the fifth oil and gas complex development program in uh, Tatarstan. The emphasis is put on the development of new materials, composite materials, uh, super plastics, and uh, other low and medium volume petrochemicals. The process cannot be launched in one day. You have to systematically work during many decennies in order to develop graduately the set of industries that is located in our Republic. We have uh, all the prerequisites for clusters successful development. The cluster is manufacturing products that are worth worth 3.3 billion rubles and we have uh, airplane production on uh, Tupolev uh, company, uh, Kazan engine uh, company, our shipbuilders, Gorkov shipyard and many, many others. All of them are active in the field of uh, new materials. Kamas, Ford, uh, two car manufacturers are very active as, as well. When we started this uh, composite uh, activity, we've, we saw already some prerequisites for these materials to be actively used. We have uh, uh, several petrochemical uh, companies. We have uh, uh, oil company Titneft as well. And it acts as an investor to several projects related to composites. Uh, our One of the main emphasis in, is put uh, uh, on the commercial attractiveness and investment attractiveness uh, of the region. The Republic uh, creates uh, all necessary conditions, uh, including five uh, uh, territories of accelerated social and economic development, several industrial and production parks. We have uh, the idea techno park owned 50 50 by the government of Republic and uh, Rosnana. And we have also uh, the production site. Uh, in uh, Alabuga uh, special economic zone. Now it is the biggest in Russia and it has several projects related to composites. The major one being Umatex manufacturing uh, facility, Amavolokno manufacturing nitrile fibers, uh, 1500 tons uh, annually. And colleagues from uh, Umatex, while, while finding new investment uh, niche, uh, will launch pan precursors manufacturing facility uh, to be yet again in the right place in the value creation chain uh, composite wise. So, uh, production infrastructure investment uh, environment, raw materials availability, uh, further distribution capacities. All these factors created a good environment for project implementation and development. But this is not enough. And we are uh, talking about it right now. We need to create new technologies. New startups uh, should be born. This is why equal dialogue between our companies and the higher educational establishments uh, should uh, 
be present. We have many nice universities and higher uh, and high schools. This is why, together with the Umatex, uh, on the basis of our aviation institute, we will create a composite technology uh, center. It has been actually already opened in Kazan. Now our students have an opportunity uh, to pilot new projects, uh, to test new technologies while writing their uh, thesis, uh, for instance, uh, or uh, diploma papers. This is all in order to bring life into the new next uh, stage that will see the creation of new projects and technologies. To support this comprehensive and cluster approach, we deem necessary to bring on board, uh, on board uh, the youth generations. Traditionally, it's a priority. Last year, uh, Kazan uh, held World Skills Championship. It was a very important achievement for us. Under future skills, we saw separate competences related to uh, composites. Word skills is important, but since it's an international uh, event, it attracts everyone's attention on the need to develop uh, uh, next day uh, skills. And we have very good infrastructure, institutes uh, and uh, venues that have been created specifically for uh, world skills. And guys from our Republic uh, uh, are present online this year in the category of word skills related to composites. And we had a wonderful experience with uh, uh, Bauman Moscow State uh, Technical University. Uh, we did uh, international composite battle Kazan with the participation of 15 teams from Kazakhstan, Belarus, Italy, uh, Germany, Ukraine. We think that this comprehensive approach, industrial basis creation, providing opportunities uh, for new projects to be implemented, special economic zones, technoparks, industrial uh, venues, plus higher educational establishments and training centers, put on top of this overall activity in the field of uh, composites, uh, trainings, international competitions, raising awareness. All these factors create some sort of a critical mass that will allow, together with our colleagues from Composites Without Borders and uh, our colleagues from other regions, allow us to implement uh, new projects. Capoe Composite uh, manufacture uh, plain wing components. Uh, another uh, company is manufacturing accessories, accessories for uh, drone manufacturing. Uh, and I'm giving just a couple of examples, but investors, they keep track of uh, what is going on in the Republic, but it requires comprehensive approach and very meticulous building of value chains. Uh, we apply it together with systematic uh, approach, program-based approach uh, to the development of industries, uh, bringing together raw material manufacturers and future consumers, uh, raising awareness uh, among young generations. All these allow us to successfully implement new projects and we are sure that uh, in the field of composites, together with our friends from Composites Without uh, Borders, will allow to uh, develop this topic further, and Tatarstan will take uh, active part. 
thank you very much for your uh, presentation and uh, your experience. Uh, technologies are coined uh, by people and people are trained in universities, high establishment educations, higher education establishment and training centers. We are talking today about uh, science, education and business. And I would like to give uh, the floor to Viktor Avdeev. Your example is an example of a, a synergy between science, education and uh, business. Uh, you are one of the creators of uh, Composite Valley. I remember you saying that in Moscow State University, together with colleagues, uh, you created uh, an institute. In Tula, last week we met uh, uh, each other on the occasion of the opening of the new plant in uh, Uzlavaya, special economic uh, zone. So this interaction, what are the fruits of it? Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like uh, to follow up uh, on uh, the uh, KMTP uh, subject. Together with Composites Without Borders uh, movement over the last uh, year, we in Moscow, Lamanosov University, initiated several interesting uh, projects. The ideas that are being implemented over the last 20, 30 years are aimed at the creation of uh, industrial production. I tend to agree with my colleagues who said that it is always good to work according to industry's demand, but it's only partially right because uh, modern universities should do three steps. First step is to come up with revolutionary ideas. If these ideas are shaping the world, the level of a university is international. If the ideas uh, reshape uh, one country, the importance uh, uh, of this university is on the level of the country. Some universities change game rules of the game on the regional basis, and it's also good. Uh, there are universities that do basically nothing. So first ideas. Second, training of a team that can implement these ideas and the team can be prepared cross-functionally with participation uh, of different universities. Multidisciplinary teams are the strongest ones. And the third step is related to the implementation of high-tech businesses. I remember, I, I, I uh, remember one of the panelists said, uh, just take a look at the industry and don't come up with any other ideas. I disagree with the, this uh, colleague, the dearest. Yes, sometimes we have ideas, but uh, in hand, but we have nothing in front of us to give these ideas uh, to, because these ideas are too much future oriented. The industry is not ready for that. So we need to create uh, our own production plans, right? Uh, the prototype of KMTP is a well-known uh, 218 uh, decree that is well known by the universities. And the plant that we launched, that you mentioned, has been created under this 218 decree. The production is the best response. And uh, the plant will manufacture 2,500 tons of uh, uh, products. Uh, we built it uh, in the special economic uh, zone and we are ready to export uh, in uh, uh, all uh, countries. Now we export in 30 countries only, but we will expand our geography. Itecma, awarded, awarded by Composite Without Borders uh, Prize, 
is also a part of this uh, group because it's a, a phase out development for um, uh, S21 and for other planes. I heard uh, today about wonderful works in St. Petersburg Polytech uh, uh, University related to this uh, well-known uh, composite uh, catamaran, this uh, wonderful car uh, that was uh, created by uh, Polytech uh, University specialists, uh, different uh, light vessels and many other good examples. Startups are the first step and I convinced that universities are ready uh, to be fully fledged players in the market not only train people uh, but create industry assets this morning mr gaidansky told and i agree with him eight uh, years ago we had no carbon fiber no components no binders altogether we radically changed the situation we have the conference we have uh, uh, several teams engaged and i'm very glad to see it i would like to mention the following for further development we suffer from the lack of infrastructure funding and equipment but i uh, agree with uh, Mr. Majuga. The narrowest bottleneck is all about personnel. To replace steel with composites, we need experts uh, uh, on uh, material resistance. And in the university, uh, together uh, with uh, our colleagues from different universities, uh, we came up with a program uh, to uh, train technology experts, uh, experts uh, in uh, and the field of uh, composers. Structural analysts, stress men, math specialists are key people in composites and i always uh, say that in material science uh, the the most important person is a designer because he or she defines whether a material is needed or a product uh, is uh, needed and universities do a lot in order to change the situation. Thank you, colleagues, for your attention. Thank you very much. On behalf of the universities, of course, we will support the train, the personnel, which will be necessary for our business today or tomorrow. Thank you very much for this bridge to the universities. Let us talk about application of composites. Today in the morning during the plenary session, there were, were such mentionings as that people often refuse using composite because construction is very conservative and designers prefer to have the reinforced concrete, metal, steel, no composites. Where do new designers come from? Of course, from the universities. Pavel, question to you. We have uh, been having composites with us for 10 years, large period of time. Are there any questions for, there are, of course there are questions to cost, but they are super light, super strong. They need to be applied. Of course, it's an issue of the regulatory framework, but we also we have to teach students, including in construction universities, the composites have a number of advantages. They have to be applied how to your university how does your university contribute to promotion of composites thank you very much first of all dear colleagues distinguished friends i would like to thank both participants and organizers of this forum despite the complicated situation we had a possibility to gather offline and online yes moscow construction university is a leading construction 
university and we of course are involved in scientific activities with both traditional and new construction materials which does not contradict with the current legislation i would disagree that construction area had composites 10 years ago for the first time of course the reinforced concrete is a classic composite material in this case metallic reinforcements concrete structures are applied in construction for a long period of time during the last years as i might say there are a number of milestone sites where the reinforced contract was used last center in st petersburg the tallest building of europe the tallest building of europe built on the swamp land there is a stiffness high stiffness reinforcement flexible reinforcements and of course the concrete and all the columns all the pillars which were used they withstand the load of 21,000 tons a little bit less actually as for the construction composite materials are actively applied in floor in partitions it can be different light structures inflatable structures for bricks including with different type of reinforcement as it was mentioned many times at the forum there are applications for these structures with the fittings and raw material reinforcements from non-polymeric materials we have special glues adhesives to have the wooden structures 40 years ago, the sports center in Arhangelsk was built uh, with uh, 43 meters with wood of wooden structures using the glue. It's a 40, uh, 63 meters passage. Fiber concrete is as well very popular. We had did a number of studies of this material. Uh, it's very profitable to use it with a very good construction properties. We were talking about fiber, carbons. It's very prospective for the industry. It's been considered as very expensive. Nevertheless, in our universities, we conducted a study on possibility of using the carbon fibers from the numerical stimulation and we have even have experience of formation of standardizations for the institutions we can say there are some serious impediments that prevent application of composite materials in the industry if there is a structure which is an advanced one the task is to perform te tests to learn the properties of a composite material and after that based on this study we shall set the task of implementation of these results to the normative and regulatory documentation the structures without regulatory basis are very risky we have a federal law 384 on the safety of buildings for construction sites these risks related with the potential destruction can be can cause many victims you know that many unique buildings were built recently for the olympic games in sochi for the football world cup in our country now university of course established a center of collective use within the program of development as a research and scientific part. This center accumulates all the leading educational, scientific, experimental divisions of our university. We have very high skilled employees, students, assistance etc we suggest all the interested people 
who would like to use these materials to test these materials, to implement these materials, we provide all these services. And I believe that if we have enough time and resources, this task could be solved. I mean, it could be included in the regulatory basis. What about the popularization of composite in the industry? There should not be something extraordinary. There are educational programs, and I believe that recently but the most demanded is the additional vocational education programs. We have a separate programs on bachelor programs within the construction of unique building and structures. And of course, the traditional good effect is promotion on different publications and specialized magazines in Russia and abroad. And when the study results are published in any mass media, it allows to persuade some customers in application of any solutions. To be brief, that would be it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pavel. We said about training the personnel for composite industry as early as possible. And our colleague was talking about Moscow State, construction university, but many universities start at schools because the earlier we start educating a child, a pupil, the better choice, the more conscious choice will be made by a pupil, Natalia. I have a question to you. Could you please share your experience of the work with the school pupils? And I heard you have some social projects with Yumatex. I would like to go back to the words of the Sergei, of Sergei Lulin. When the goods are on shelves of a store and you can buy it, and you can use them. In this case, the supply and demand will be in good balance. From the point of view of working with pupils in schools, we have Umatex experience and experience with other companies, which we accumulated in Russia and in regions. These are techno parks, educational techno parks or quantoriums, which united key industrial priorities, schools, universities, and combined these three key participants of the market and the experience of Russian State Social University is very important. On the platform of the university, there are two technical parks of equal opportunities. This is how we call it, because the specifics of a Russian State Social University is development of the social sphere of the country and the projects which are implemented together with Umatex companies are very interesting. Me, myself, I'm a, I am a consumer of the Umatex products because I play hockey using their products, their hockey stick uh, and they are being the only supplier, I believe that these ties will be developed. Organizing events on career guidance, we should be oriented not only by the future experts who work in composite industry, in technologists, engineers, who will be involved in production process. We shall also educate consumers, buyers, designers, and immersing the guidance orientation on the products which is social for those technical inventions, the tasks which are focused at the lesson of technology, for example, at children's technical park. They are aimed at these. There are all the conditions. What is necessary? We need business to make, to provide availability, technologies and material. We need materials for 
education, for training, they should be available and supported by the key manufacturers. And of course, this is the key target. I will speak about the future, which we see because socially important goods and this large industry is consists consists of possibilities using the composite materials and hockey stick is one of the small examples we know everything related with social sphere we know the demands of disabled people elderly people children etc etc that is why our priority is making relations, making ties between the inventors and developers, knowing what the market wants, what the people need, are based on this cluster of socially important goods. And demand is growing significantly on behalf of Ministry of Industry and Trade and Social Protection and uh, the military sector also. The confirmation is uh, the agreement with the military technopolis era. Our university has intellectual center of support of technologies and innovations together with Ross patent because the inventions, the useful models in the sphere of socially important goods are, of course, tools and the subject of patents within the educational programs. And it's another area to business. And this is innovation. Another opportunity. What are the socially important goods? Goods related with health care, food, sports, children, for disabled people, for elderly people, musical instruments. If we take a look at the shelves in the store, unfortunately, the goods are produced somewhere else. They are not made of composite materials. And we know that the technical means for rehabilitation, which our partner has, Motorica company, produces that. We have a joint project, Small Innovation Enterprise. They are demanded, made of composite materials and it's Russia, made in Russia, demanded not only in Russia, but also abroad. But we need additional support by the government. From the point of view of establishment of the market, technical parks, these young students, pupils who are winners of different competencies, reverse engineering, augmented virtual reality. They have another important component and a leader is teaching the future leader. And here on the platform of our university, technical park, the Russian team played, uh, tr tra was trained, who played in the competition on reverse engineering. I would like to say a couple of words about the projects with Umatex. You probably saw virtual, some uh, virtual machines with the hockey stick trainings, virtual hockey zone. This virtual hockey zone was made within the techno park of our university as one of the products. Another product, which is also very important, those who cooperate with Umatex company, is the production of blister for the track motorcycle, which became a huge step forward on production of the group in automotive in motorcycle sphere for Umatex promotion. All that was made in within the world's of our university by the winners of the competence reverse engineering, digital twin manufacturing, they made it from scratch. And of course the competences of technical parts are huge 
if we mix the composite goods, include them in this single cycle, so it is not something new. It could be the most available, comfortable, technological super materials. I really like the super materials. We will have an opportunity to pay more attention of young future designers who are probably at school. We will be able to tell them about this. Recently, an exhibition of weapons and goods was held. Our students try to apply their skills in different areas. This is very interesting because this makes the future open for pe for pupils. And cooperation agreements, we would like the project which was opened in Kazan on the platform of the university. Key university of the company had its continuation and we would like it to be take place in the key social university of the country because the socially significant goods production are very important in sphere of composites in cooperation with key universities of the country and working for our citizens for the social sphere we will achieve the best of success thank you very much thank you very much natalia thank you very interesting experience probably to continue the topic of social and school education i would like to give the floor to vladimir director of interdisciplinary center Compos composites of russia engineering center where all you have special projects of techno technical parks for school people it's my first question second question is you i know that you play hockey which hockey stick do you use is it zaryat by umatex i will answer the second question first we help zaryat to design their hockey stick i play with a pilot stick which i hope will be in production which is under test with our team as for engineering center and in university name after bauman i would like to greet you on behalf of the oldest university in the country named after bauman and this topic is very important for us because we've been involved in that for more than 10 years we realized that it's necessary to provide career guidance of school pupils and students working with composite materials we came to schools we cover all the educational chain even kindergartens i will tell you the secret and to technical institutions six industrial chairs master degree advanced studies all that is possible to cover is covered by us building the single educational trajectory for the first time we thought that probably it's possible to educate students demonstrating how the centers functioning we could not select the most talented the best school pupils that is why we decided to provide career guidance from the very early age from the very beginning of school engineering project named uh, in, the, in the university named after bauman and the as uh, we have many students who teach school pupils it's very easy to transfer the knowledge they speak the same language we came to each third moscow school we opened our representative offices in many regions even abroad we cooperate with the ross сотрудничество and other organizations today engineering is the largest educational network for school people which includes technical parts contariums branches and franchise 
Many regions and many cities are have our representative offices and we train 10,000 pupils, school pupils. It's a huge institution which allows us to select the best people. Our partner universities have uh, students which whom they educate from the very beginning of school and they are trained and become professionals. Also, we work with schools using engineering classes, program technologies lessons, which were mentioned. We designed a unique stand, which is a mobile one, which can be delivered easily to a school, which doesn't require any special exhaust system. Everything is vacuumed. And the pupils need 30 minutes to manufacture composite constructions with their own hands. So it is a, a good addition to the set of young uh, composite uh, materials. Uh, every uh, year we guarantee follow-up training of more than 1,000 uh, school teachers. We actively work with uh, uh, world skills and junior world skills as far as pupils are concerned. When they become uh, more mature, uh, they become champions of uh, the big world skills. Uh, our team from Bowen uh, University is uh, the champion of uh, world skills in, uh, in, in Kazan. And when the pupil takes the decision who shall he or she be, he or she asks about the wage and we tell him or her about our uh, composite uh, cluster so the pupil can now sign uh, a contract that will enter into force uh, in due time so that it's a guarantee of a labor place they continue their their education in colleges then in universities uh, we cooperate uh, with the production companies our center is uh, has a comprehensive uh, activity we have many implemented projects uh, that are worth around 5.5 billion uh, rubles. Uh, our students actively participate uh, in them. They learn uh, via practice and uh, in battles with uh, skilled and experienced uh, professors and experts. Uh, some graduates uh, go immediately after the university to work in production. Others uh, uh, stay on postgraduate uh, programs uh, and become uh, scholars. And we have three uh, graduates who created their own startups. And we are particularly proud of them because it is a part of uh, university KPIs uh, and because business is essential. Thank you very much for your experience. And I would like uh, uh, to talk about uh, international training programs. And I would like uh, to ask uh, a question to John Davison. Uh, what approaches in training are the most uh, efficient? And one can you suggest to higher educational system in Russia, what is the right way to train future employees in composites? John, you have the floor. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to attend today. Um, here in the UK, we have uh, uh, vocational courses uh, available for both industry and academia. Uh, and there are slowly but surely, this, this uh, training is, is creeping into schools. Um, there are also online courses supplied by a company called Ingenuity in the UK. And of course, YouTube carries many videos on the use of composites. And we also have a number of composite centres where composite manufacturers can carry out R&D work. 
across in Europe, there's EASA, which offers training courses. And there are several composite centers, such as Spain, Ireland, Germany, the Netherlands, and of course, Russia. For the most part, universities supply degree courses, and they tend to be for focused outcomes, not necessarily a general understanding of the whole process. The one part of our industry that is not freely taught, for obvious reasons, are the skills for the production of carbon fiber. This is mainly because of the difficulties with access to production lines. Although there is Deakin University in Australia and Oak Ridge in the US, there is not an independent industrial open access based source for training of this type. What I call hands-on training. To deliver, to deliver this knowledge is important to the understanding of the whole process, the polymer to composite part. The problem, of course, is intellectual property. Even with government funded programs where there are many consortium partners, exploitation and ownership of IP is a major challenge. Such as race recycling at the end of life composites, also knowledge can only be taught whilst working for a recycler, that there are some universities that are working in this field, but they are very few. Unfortunately, the commercial sensitivity of the technology prevents easy access to training courses. Sometimes collaborations between industry and academia are not successfully aligned, and the results are very mixed as far as industrialization opportunities. So what we really do need is an holistic approach to training and skills that allows a full understanding of the process as a whole. There is, it is a very mixed uh, uh, approach, I find, uh, certainly here in the UK. Um, and um, the, the one problem that we have is sometimes this mismatch between uh, industry and academia. Uh, academia wants to do research and to write papers. Industry wants innovation and technology that it can commercialize. This is the problem that we seem to have at the moment. And it sounds very much like you in Russia suffer the same problem. So it's how do we overcome that, that problem, that, that misconnection that does occur between industry and academia. Because that right at this moment in time, they appear to want two different things. The fact that something may come out of it of use sometimes is purely by accident, not always by design. So I think what should happen is that rather than having independent clusters of composites and, and centers and uh, training courses and such like, there, there needs to be a, certainly in part, of, speaking of part of UK, a whole country approach to this sort of skills training uh, and, and the academic side of this, this whole thing. Um, well, I've, I've been in the industry for 38 years. Um, I build, design and build carbon fiber production lines. And what I, I found surprising, it's quite surprising is that most composites engineers don't have any knowledge about how that carbon fiber is manufactured. And that's something that we cannot allow to continue. So, I say again, the uh, approach that we must take in all our countries is one of a holistic approach where we capture everything that we can about the whole process from the polymer to the recycled material as a whole and give that as a, a, a broad brush uh, skills and training or education of, of some kind to all our potential uh, uh, engineers and scientists. Да у нас общие проблемы, как мы слышим, тоже у нас общие, но я думаю, что we have common issues, but taking into account your experience, we will overcome them, I'm sure. And I would like to give the floor. Uh, to Alexei Bravkov, Deputy Principal for Prospective Projects, Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. You said during the plenary 
that we need to take advantage, then we need to take the lead, and then we need to protect this leadership. You have great experience and background in uh, components, digitalization, digital shadows and digital twins. We'll learn from your example. But we talked today and apparently everything is good. Uh, we have a bachelor program, we have master program, we have higher education. And uh, it seems to us that everything is uh, fine, but when a, gra a freshly graduated ex specialist comes to a manufacturer. We receive the feedback that the, that his or her level does not meet the the requirements of the manufacturing. Could you please draw some conclusions about the training? Thank. I thank the organizers for bringing me on board. I'm glad to see. Uh, my colleagues, not face to face uh, online, but I can hear you well. First, I tend to, to agree with uh, uh, Viktor Andreev, maybe not three strategic goals, but three uh, objectives uh, uh, experts, teams, and uh, implementation. And I absolutely agree uh, with. Uh, with the fact that we really need more structural analysts. And there is a big issue that professors in universities are not practitioners. They abandoned their professional career in production 5, 10, 15 years ago. And what they can do, they can teach fundamental science, that's fine, but you cannot teach high-tech subjects in the curriculum with no real-life experience from production. Yes, we have uh, uh, clients. Yes, we have uh, a mixed uh, uh, team with experienced engineers and uh, freshmen, and there's a specific uh, issue. Uh, we create digital brand way and we stayed with the database of materials, so-called virtual test tables, test polygons, uh, in which we brought materials, overlooked uh, penetration characterization, Im imbibe uh, techniques, production defaults, and so on and so forth. So we learned how to do it for different types of uh, composites. Next task, if we are so smart, let's uh, create a new material. And on another plenary session, I said that material process technology to construction is is one thing, and we need to take a, a reverse approach from the market. Let's define uh, the ultimate construction, the technology and the material that can bear certain loads. And this is how we can optimize the entire process. Further on, uh, the next step technology is digital twin and we can use it on all stages, advancement, conceptual design, a product development from composites, uh, production, because uh, uh, technological uh, inheritance for composites is very important, and then uh, operation. And from the database, we need to quickly receive uh, uh, data that can be given to the modeling system. We understand it very, uh, well, and we teach our engineers and students that we, we are interested in macro level and on defaults, uh, uh, all the defaults or fissures on the, uh, is on micro level. So micro, meso, and the macro levels, three levels. And then we're talking about connection, we're talking about uh, uh, links, uh, defaults, eliminations, debondings, and so on and so forth. Now we know how to model it. And in the end of the day, multidisciplinary approach. Yes, many science, sciences 
are combined uh, uh, in here. Uh, and our idea was to digitalize it all, uh, thus discontinuing human uh, error based on the laws of uh, physics. Uh, what is our goal? We take a, a, a material, Vermoor, for instance, with certain characteristics. We can look at the uh, Ashby diagrams, uh, find the best characteristics in polymers, and say to ourselves, let's do even better. What can we change? Almost everything, the structure, the components, uh, the uh, technology, and uh, the binder uh, fabrics. And uh, recently, we know how to receive these materials uh, based on uh, thermoplast and humatext uh, have the fibers and the one-directional tape. Manufacturing uh, tool is one of the uh, latest development. Uh, some of our products are being tested uh, by space industry in order to be used uh, in space because they have their own uh, specific uh, tests. So by digitalizing many years of experience and uh, creating material for a specific purpose, it's very important. Remember, we start from the construction, uh, we achieve quite nice uh, goals. And then students and uh, engineers start to work with another philosophy as the basis. A limited of resources, including production and uh, technology resources, uh, bring to life some solutions that are outside of the box in which uh, the major designer, the head, of, the head designer is working. Chubais uh, mentioned the Griffon. Ten years uh, ago, we worked on high-speed uh, uh, carbon fiber uh, vessel. The problem was different. The maritime register was not ready to approve uh, uh, carbon fiber vessels not glass fiber vessels, but carbon fiber uh, uh, vessels. So we had to, uh, to develop it in one year and also uh, concur our calculations uh, with uh, the maritime register. Your mobile was another uh, example. And this project suffered from the lack of uh, uh, human experience between because a car is also about safety, about uh, uh, noise uh, comfort. Uh, they changed composites uh, uh, with uh, metals and the project died. Uh, automotive uh, industry is, of course, one of the very relevant consumer. Aviation uh, always was and will be. Now China took the lead with their developments. They are now undisputed uh, leaders. They have great potential and uh, they don't transfer technologies. They don't transfer uh, product. Uh, they do service provision and we work with them hand in hand. And the objective uh, set by uh, Mr. Chubais is all about wind energy. Very interesting goal because uh, uh, camber, carbon fiber should be able to produce 65 meters and uh, Boeing immediately said we also already have a, a wing of uh, 72 uh, meters, 16 engineers from ours worked uh, uh, on the Boeing 777 uh, project and they tried uh, to use new materials with old weight uh, calculation. So from the beginning till the end, the design should be based on the fact that 
the item is made from uh, composers. So my main idea, all processes are interconnected all along the life cycle, development, production and uh, operation. We know where bottlenecks uh, are and where sensors should be installed and the digital twin is responsible for that. Of course, every product from a material uh, should be tested and the key moment is to create the metrics of key indicators and proceeding to virtual tests, we can find the right balance between different indicators and uh, uh, to eliminate uh, ambiguities. And we are not far from trees approach here. Another approach is to create best-in-class construction cars, machines uh, from uh, uh, composed composites that work on the entire life cycle. This is all I want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, esteemed colleagues. We gave the floor to all speakers and I seize this opportunity uh, to thank them with a couple of words to wrap up the discussion. We understand that education in composites uh, should pass uh, through R&D. Education in composites uh, are, is multidisciplinary. A good specialist cannot be trained without business and real economy access participation. Uh, we need to, to prepare an expert starting from the school, school, college, university. Uh, all conditions are made to are here uh, to support uh, full cycle development. It is important to aim at the final construction. It is important to look in the future together with the composers. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. I would like to thank the organizing community, committee, sorry for the organization. And I would like to extend my gratitude to all speakers of our panel discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Мы благодарим вас за то, что вы были в эфире с нами все это время. За то, что... Dear participants, thank you for being with us. Thank you for participation in the event of this forum. I would like to give the floor and to invite to the stage our team, which prepared this forum for you. Artem Stareshenko, Anastasia Baryak, Maria Yuryeva, Tatiana Alesina. Thank you very much for great job done for preparation of the forum. And also, I would like to thank those who are behind the scene, our directors, cameramen, our writers. Thank you very much. I really hope that we are not telling farewell. We just say goodbye. See you next time. And I really hope that the next autumn Next year, we will meet in person. Thank you very much for participation. And see you again.